Hey guys, how are we doing today? Uh, we are going to take the thumbnails and make banners. So if you've been following along the, with this strategy, uh, we're going to use these banners in our bonus pages or you can use them on the side of your website or wherever you want to put the banners, okay? All right, so um, let's get started. We're going to use a software called GIMP. It's GIMP.org. It's a free software. All you have to do is download it, and you can see that right here. Download this one right here, and uh, you should be all set. All right. This is what it looks like when it comes up. And I'm going to go ahead and drop myself down because I will be in the way. All right, so first thing that you need to do is hit File, New. We want to change this banner size to 300. And we want to change the height to 250. And hit OK. All right, so if you need, uh, you know, the most popular banner sizes, you can Google this. It's not that hard. I had to do it myself, and, you know, 350 by 250 is a popular size, 250 by 250, and there's other ones. There's a lot, lot of other ones that you can use. So, All right, so the next process is we're going to hit File again open a layer and here's another thing make this easy put this in your desktop or put it in your pictures uh, that way it makes it easier for you to find guys I didn't do that because I have a whole folder full of my thumbnails and I put it somewhere weird <laughs> so let's find them there, another one download somewhere. And for some reason, my internet is slow today again. I think everybody's on the darn tube. So instead of doing something constructive with their life. Travel. All right, and there. All right, so there we go. All right, we'll do this one. All righty. So basically, what we're going to do is. Double click that one, and that's what you see. See this big square right here? This is the thumbnail. Alright, this is a hundred percent probably. What we need to do is shrink it down. There's a tool right here, it has a little box and an arrow. Click on it, click on the uh, picture. Come over here, put 300, put 250, and hit scale. We're going to come down here, because let's see if I can get my moving tool. All right, it worked. I've been having problems. No, it did not work. All right, so uh, if that happens to you, you come up here and say edit, undo, and we are going to hit this. Now, usually you can go up there and hit the moving tool. That's this one right here. But for some reason, it is not working for me. And instead of messing around with it, I am going to do it this way. All right, so all set. 
Move it down. Voila. What do you think? Pretty cool, right? Now, you know, you could probably do this on paint, but it, it just don't look as good. It, it doesn't form it right. Um, so the next process is hit file again. We're going to export it. And uh, let's just, I'm going to just put it in my, see what happens here. You got to watch this. If you hit save or whatever, it's going to go to your documents. So we want to put it in a file. We're going to put it in my, my downloads. And we'll name it 300 by 250. And we'll name it, I don't even remember what it was. So I'm going to name it A for now. I'll rename it later. Now you can leave it as a JPEG. But I'm going to make it a J, JPG. Uh, that way it kind of shrinks the size of it. You know, PNGs, uh, or, you know, when you put those on websites, they uh, have more pixels and, 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 you know, there's a lot more data inside that photo. And when you're doing that, you want it a little less. So we're going to hit export. This is going to come up. You're going to hit export. And it's gone, buddy. It's in your folder. All right. So we're going to discard that. We're going to do this one more time, if you don't mind. That way you get it. I want you to get it. Uh, but you could rewind this video the way it is and do it. So we're going to go File. We're going to go New. I'm going to do a little faster this time. 250 by 250, okay, there it is. We're going